Hey guys, Melinda Haynes, license number 102308. So why does yelling happen? Like, why do we get so frustrated as parents and start to yell at our kids? Well, the most important reason, I think, is because we take things personally. We take little junior's behavior personally. So for example, if you've got, um, you know, a couple kids, you're making this dinner, you're making some broccoli or some lasagna or whatever it is, you, you set the dinner down in front of them and they start whining, and I don't like this, and this is gross. And then instead of just being like, oh, well, this is what's for dinner, you know, I'm not your waitress or, you know, I'm not your professional chef, your personal chef, we get per we take it personal. We're, you know, like, you know, I'm tired, I've been working all day, come home and make this dinner, and then now they're going to sit here and reject it. And then we get mad <laughs> and we'll be like, you know, you either eat or go to your room, you know, whatever it is. And we, and we start yelling, we start getting um, frustrated because they're not listening. And the, the number one thing to do in order to stop the yelling, and I know some parents are really, you know, okay with, with the yelling, um, but for those parents who aren't, you know, down for, for yelling and they want to stop their yelling behavior, the first thing to do is just to, to remind yourself that, you know, it's a, jo it's a, a parent's job to set the limits and set the boundaries and it's the kid's job to push those boundaries and to push the limits to test the limits because that's how they find their place in the world and so when we realize that you know it's not about us personally they're not just personally attacking the way we make lasagna or the way we steam the broccoli um, you know our choice of uh, vegetable that we're serving um, for tonight they're not doing that necessarily on purpose to upset us um, it's a it's a childhood thing and for us as parents, our job is to not take things personally and to, to give them a consequence that's, that's related to the behavior, that's related to the action. You know, okay, so you don't want to eat your dinner, that's fine. It doesn't affect me. It's going to affect you because either you're going to be hungry later or you're, you're not going to get dessert or whatever the rule is in your home. So that way we can separate ourselves from it. We don't have to worry about um, forcing the issue and forcing um, a certain rule upon the child that we just uh, relax and let them face the consequence of whatever breaking that rule may be. So that takes the pressure off of us and we don't have to yell anymore. We're just like, hey, okay, well, you're going to be the one facing the consequence, so I'm not even going to get myself upset about it. So that's why yelling happens and hopefully that's a tip to help you to reduce the amount of yelling that goes on in your home. If you have any other questions, please contact me and thank you for watching.